Samara, Costa Rica. Some might call it paradise. This sleepy beach town seems to epitomize the Costa Rican national motto of Pura Vida, or pure life, which has defined the country's remarkably stable history. A far cry from the violence and paranoia of the United States, there is no social strife in Costa Rica. There is no economic instability. There is no political polarization. And naturally, in a land where peace is a way of life, there are no terrorists. Except one. The 80s Egypti Mosquito, a nasty little foreign invader that has declared a jihad on Costa Rica's laid-back lifestyle, armed with a deadly bomb called Dengue Fever. I don't even know what that is. We have um, what we call a pandemia. Uh, really, it's uh, getting really bad in our country. It's making a lot of uh, problems in our population. Like many undesirable elements of Costa Rica's culture, dengue is an import from nearby Central and South American countries. It's enough to make one consider tougher homeland security. Biologically, dengue fever is a whole different can of worms. The moment the, the virus gets into the bloodstream, it reproduces more and more and spread all over your body and all over your tissues and cells. Still not convinced that dengue could land you in here? How does this sound? Coughing, sneezing. And you have fever. Fiebre. Pain. Pain in my stomach. Dehydrated. Dolor in la cabeza. Massive headaches. Headache. Vomitos. Diarrhea, vomiting. Sometimes vomiting. Vomiting blood, passing blood. Con mucha diarrea. Or with diarrhea. Lost a little bit of weight. That was probably the good side of it, right? <laughs> but increíble. It was horrible. Yum. It's clear that having dengue fever is no day at the beach. Are we going to get that? Is that something you get here? The chances of acquiring dengue in Samara are not unsubstantial. As Dr. Freddy says, there have been at least 50 cases in the area in the last two months. With Samara's population fluctuating at around 5,000, that's one out of every 100 people with dengue. The reason Samara is such a hotbed for insect insurgency? Where we have more problems are in the coasts, um, Pacific coast, and you know that this mosquito grows into water and swamps. It's more like in places where you have wastes. Any subversive organization is comprised of cells, and these vermin are no exception. The cells in this case are pools of sedentary water found all over Samara, where the mosquitoes tend to assemble, breed, and thirst for blood. This local resident says he got dengue from the mosquitoes that hover over the dirty water where he sells his jewelry. And upon seeing the water, it doesn't seem far-fetched. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no vaccine for dengue, nor a comprehensive treatment to eradicate the week-long illness. However, unlike some of the other, less resilient countries where dengue is prevalent, Costa Rica's government has, at least in part, launched a war on dengue. This guest figure isn't protecting himself from anthrax, but rather fumigating potential mosquito breeding grounds, part of the government's effort to thwart the dengue threat. The effort also includes educational programs for children, national TV announcements, and cars that drive through the streets, warning citizens to throw out old tires and other possible places where sedentary water could bring the 80s Egypti. But there's a disconnect here. What happens when the foreigners attack the foreigners? I think this is the worst illness I ever got in my life. From Ireland via New Jersey, Brenda has lived in Samara for nearly a year, managing the Aloha Bar and Dance Club. I had never heard about dengue before. Um, I got all my vaccines and everything before I came to Costa Rica. She is one of the many non-natives who has been kept in the dark about dengue fever. Tourists do not uh, see national TV. And second, there is no program for informing the people that come here. Uh, what do they have to take care of? Information is available on the internet. But Dr. Freddy says that because viruses are always changing, frequently this data is not up to date. For example, on this website for the Center for Disease Control, diarrhea was not listed as a symptom of dengue fever. Though there is little a visitor to Samara can do besides regularly apply bug spray, until the information about the dengue threat is made accessible to Costa Rican and gringo alike, pale-skinned people will flock to Samara's beaches without a clue as to the dangers that await them. Have you heard about dengue fever? What? Hotel we're staying at, the lady said that it wasn't here. 
So have you heard about like cases recently popping up? I don't really know anything about it, like in terms of like the symptoms or anything. I just know that there's been like a very rare occurrence of it here, and that it's more common in Nicaragua. But until that time, there remains trouble in paradise.